This is Data Meeting 5. I am Rachel Limonwadi and I had my meeting with David Cook. Um, initially, um, we decided to meet and we corresponded on the discussion board and then again via email. We finally agreed to meet on July 22nd on Friday at 6 p.m. And earlier we emailed our data to each other and we ended up meeting on Google Hangouts to talk through the meeting process. So, um, we started off reviewing our group's data, um, group one, and David reviewed our data and asked me to give him an overview of my student population. He, it was nice to have a partner that has taught for many years and he's had data meetings previously, so he had a really good idea of um, what to do and made some really good suggestions. Um, he suggested combining the writing SMART goals and assessments that we initially made. Um, previously, we had two writing assessments, one for writing structure and another for learning APA skills. So in combining both of these action plans into one, it solves two problems at once. And this is a really good idea, and I hadn't thought of that previously. Um, and David assessed our second action plan and thought it was good as is, as it deals with study habits and planning out study time. So here's our updated action plan tracking sheet one. And our tracking sheet two. And then after that, we reviewed his group's data. So as I reviewed Team 5's data, I saw that they had students, um, they were trying to keep on track with their second grade reading level. Some of the students were ELL, and these um, students were noted in the data. Their team had really clear, um, concise plans. Um, they wanted to implement tactics that would improve the next group of second graders reading across the board. In order to do this, they had a good foundation of tasks for all the students. And then they had additional tasks to help the ELL students and any other students that were reading behind the grade level. Um, since Team 5 focused on reading assessments as their one measure, it made it easy to keep their goals focused and um, they implemented two good action, pla action plan tracking sheets from the start. Um, David agreed that he and his team had already worked really hard on this and I congratulated him on a job well done um, and learned a lot from his team and the way they went about um, setting up their ideas and then their action plans. And here is their first action plan tracking sheet. And the second. I did ask a few questions as to why this was the only um, measure that was implemented and um, David really talked to me a lot about this data and um, was really informative and, and had a lot of information to tell me um, with his experience and tracking students. So I had a great time talking with David. We introduced ourselves and gave some background of our teaching experience. We discussed the class in general and how we felt our strengths and weaknesses were in the class before we even started talking about our data. It's nice to log time with another colleague in the class and get another perspective. Um, I spent a lot of time so far with Scott and Richard um, and it was just nice to hear someone else um, and their opinion. Um, David has experience teaching and experience doing data plan meetings in the past, so it's nice to learn from the instructor, but it's always a pleasant addition to be able to learn some new things from your fellow students, so that was really nice for me. Now, with regard to implementation, um, I know many of my colleagues aren't teaching through the summer, so that's why we did this um, data plan meeting five the way that we did. Now, even though um, I participated in the data meeting plan five with a colleague, I am currently teaching and I have the benefit of implementing my action plans soon, as soon as this month. I just started a class tonight and I got to implement my student study expectation action plan sheet. And the of the eight students, everyone handed in their calendar for me to take a look at and I'll be following up their, with their progress. And hopefully that will help my students be more successful in this class. I will be implementing the writing action plan next week. So I felt like this exercise was really good. Initially, um, I didn't know what to expect, but getting another colleague's perspective was really helpful and I appreciated it. So um, this was a successful data meeting for me. Thank you so much.